Hey everyone, it's Cosmos from Microsoft. Here's a quick look at what's new for Azure Stack HCI in 2022. I want to tell you about five things. First, we're making it easier to switch from Hyper-V and Windows Server to Azure Stack HCI. We heard the feedback from our loyal Windows Server customers that you want the cool new features in HCI, but you already have the sunk cost of a Windows Server data center license. That's why today we're introducing a new benefit for software assurance customers. You can redeem your existing licensed cores of Windows Server and get Azure Stack HCI at no additional charge. It's available right now. In the Azure portal, you'll see the new Azure Hybrid benefit under your cluster's configuration page. Next up, the cloud changed how we manage VMs, and Azure Stack HCI is all about extending those cloud management patterns into your on-premises environment. Earlier this year, we launched a preview of Azure Arc-enabled VM management for Azure Stack HCI, which means you can deploy and manage virtual machines onto Azure Stack HCI directly from the Azure portal. Today, we're adding some important features as part of Public Preview 2. For example, in addition to using your own custom images, you can now access VM images from the Azure Marketplace, including the latest fully patched images from Microsoft like Windows Server 2022 Azure Edition with hot patching, and Windows 11 Enterprise Multi-Session for Azure Virtual Desktop. Number three, this year's feature update called 22H2 brings quality of life improvements all throughout the product, including in the core operating system and the local management tools. For example, Network ATC can now automatically assign IP addresses to your intra-cluster storage networks, and it'll name your cluster networks for you based on how they're being used. You can convert existing data volumes from fixed to thin provisioning in the new volume settings. The overall navigation in Windows Admin Center has been improved to make it easier to find the tools you use most. And you can access keyword search in more places, like in the settings for your cluster. I talked about VMs. Today we're also introducing the first preview of Azure Arc-enabled Azure Kubernetes service. This means you can, for the first time, provision whole new Kubernetes clusters directly from the Azure portal into your on-premises environment. Try it out and let us know what you think. Lastly, a surprise in the area of hardware. Next year, in 2023, we'll begin offering an Azure Stack HCI integrated system based on custom hardware that's designed, built, and supported by Microsoft. The solution, which we call the Pro 2, is compact and quiet and ideal for deployment outside the data center, like in retail, manufacturing, and healthcare. You'll be able to order it directly from the Azure portal. You can choose from several configurations, all of which ship with Azure Stack HCI pre-installed. And we're integrating hardware management directly into the existing cluster management tools. It's an exciting time for Azure Edge infrastructure with Azure Arc, Azure Stack HCI, the Azure Kubernetes service, and soon the Pro2 integrated system. To learn more about all these announcements, check out the Azure Stack blog or visit azure.com/hci. Thanks for watching.